Hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, hi, welcome back to, I guess, The Wolf Among Us. Um, yeah, we're gonna be playing episode 3 today, and the goal for today is to finish chapter 3. Chapter 3? Episode 3. And, um, I'm thinking... I would try to fit chapter 4 and chapter 5 next week, finish them both together, because according to the, um, what's it, the uh, website that I checked for how long they are, chapter 3 and chapter 4 is 2 hours apparently each, and chapter 5 is like 1 hour-ish, I think. So maybe I can fit 4 and 5 together, but I don't think I can fit 3 and 4 together today, so yeah. Uh, 2 hours, I think, I think we can finish it today, or rather, I think we have time to finish it today. In fact, I think we might have a bit more time, because, um, actually I don't know, I don't know how... Uh, how fast I would be speeding through, I guess. <laughs> I would try to um, explore everything though. Anyway, uh, I guess we have to go through that whole thing of is the game up? But let's, um, yeah, let's just, let's just start a game. Um, see, that's there. Oh ho! Yes, it's showing. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, showing this time. And uh, yeah, audio audio seems to be all right. Okay, all right. Um, whew, I'm actually kind of tired today for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I've also set up my monitor and the camera actually is on a different angle i guess you can call it an angle yeah um so actually mm, i don't know it does seem to be working though although mm, yeah anyway we'll see we'll see um yeah let's just let's just get into the game i can't wait actually i'm uh, this is the as I've mentioned before, I've not played this in a very long time, so I don't remember exactly what's going on. I... right, I don't think it's Crane, because I feel like Crane is... Mm, I don't think Crane has it in him to actually do something like that. So I feel like it's a setup for Crane. Which is why he's running away, because he, I, he doesn't think that he would be spared or perhaps given a fair trial. Maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, I... Yeah, that's my thought. I don't think it's Crane. But then again, I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to next week playing this game. I can't wait to find out of, or rather, yeah, r finally finding out what's going on. Anyway, yep, let's, <laughs> I think I've said this three times now, <laughs> let's just get into this. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding Aye. pie. My name is Nerissa. <laughs> well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. 
the open arms. That definitely oh caught me by surprise. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Okay, thanks for the recap. You'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Um... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? He said... Train's been... Uh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Wasn't the phone, like, destroyed? Fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where I'm did sure you I should say... Mm. Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know... I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? Went right now. They were on their way out. Okay, I guess that's where we go now. Bigby! Sorry, can't talk. Wait. Ooh, thunder. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. That is Just true. Remember that. That is true. Oh no, okay. Seems like I've been choosing wrong options from the start today. Ay yay. okay. I feel like I can even put um first playthrough tag. <laughs> I don't even remember anything at all from this episode. Um Oh, that's pause. Whoops. Or was it that allows me to to see if there's any interactables? Eh, never mind. Special circle, people she trusted and oh, oh. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know uh. as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well, and it will, in time. Equal in strength to our mourning her loss. Oh, is that? And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk hmm. about what you've all been so grateful uh, to What's her name? Nerissa, Nerissa. Your memories of her. How oh, she wait. could be stubborn then? and patient, rash and thoughtful. Who's this? She carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved dearly loved her friends and family she loved being around them i'll miss worrying about you bad. i'll miss never met fights. Lily, but i'll miss you what i've been told holly i know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight and now we now you will life. never die from Moment indifference or lead a Thank tedious you. life goodbye sweetheart thanks for everything vivian who is vivian hmm must be one of the ghosts there that You're I don't a big, recognize. Bright, shining star in this shithole of a town, and I miss you already. Grand. I kind of feel a bit. Bigby, is everything okay? Weird reading their personal no, messages. Not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. 
Not after what he did. What did I do? Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After wait, you lie? What? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me. Bigby gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Oh, I see. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must feel. Don't no, say you that. You don't know how this must feel. You yep. have no idea. You don't have any idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. I'll and try not to. When the sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I that want is true. you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Oof. Okay. At least I, I hope I didn't interrupt too much. Important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the Ooh. next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look. Let's yeah, I don't think I want to show her. Place. That's too Crane's much. there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. All right, She's all right, go for distraught. it. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Yeah, we have to do this properly. How'd I it mean, go? it's the respect, the right? Hotel. Did you find anything? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! Who is the girl with the short hair, though? I don't wreck. Oh! The person that showed me in. Right, 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 right. She looked familiar, but I don't. Wait, oh. wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Uh -huh. Just take a little vacation is all. 
don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Yeah, fine. I'll leave Crane alone. Just get out of here. Pleasure to hear it. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair... Not sure that was a good what idea. What is he talking about? Oh Never no. you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Stop this shit. Right now. Exactly our intention. He's been a good sport. Consider the shit stopped. Oh no. Uh... What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. What? I'm gonna kill you! I shouldn't have- yeah, okay. That was such a- Wait, is she really dead? Can I restart this episode? <laughs> oh, was- Would I be able to prevent that? Oh man. I am not happy with what I just did. Not happy at all. Okay, let's just play it through. Um, oh, but then it would auto-save, right? I don't think I can replay this. Hmm... Episode 3, A Crooked Mal. Made a deal with the wrong person. I was going to uh, lie. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. Okay. I had yes. everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose okay. of juniper Holly and spring lift. Holly lift. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember Hi. what I said. The stitches Artist? won't hold up if you continue to act Hello. How's it like going? you normally do. Everything in moderation. Um... And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. <laughs> Alright then. Very good. Okay. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. That's great. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Um, Big B? Well, can I pause the scene? I can. Okay. Uh, well, I'm a bit disappointed.
uh, regarding my a actions uh so far that i've taken uh i feel like i could i could do better at a funeral i'm not sure if you saw that part but we were just at uh holly's funeral no 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 not holly oops lily's funeral yeah and dom and d made a uh, scene there and like i was trying to defuse the whole situation and i caused holly to get shot and caused myself to get shot and i made a deal to not go after crane but i was doing that i was agreeing to the deal because i didn't want to i didn't want the um fight or rather any 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 shooting to go down but apparently not so i'm not sure what would happen to the deal right now because i'm fairly sure that i would still go after crane as a plot hmm i wonder if it'll come back and bite me later oh no yeah yeah i'm just <laughs> i've just been i was even considering redoing the whole chapter anyway i guess yep it's too late to go back at least holly lived so yeah so to recap Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. Okay. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. Um... But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the... Oh yeah. wait, that sounds too what the hell rude. Is going on? Just I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Aha, uh -huh. no Everything I don't. It's to him. I get it, but I'm as confused as you are to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, it really doesn't. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward. A liar. Yeah, pretty much. That, and I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Ew. But murdering prostitutes. Yeah, that that doesn't sound like Korean at all. Okay, over there. Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. I hope. At least, I hope so. Yeah. For her sake. Uh, that was so bad, the way I handled it. Can I, um, ask you a question? Sure. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said The stream's going pretty good, I guess, so far. Tiny uh, little bottled considering they deep inside. The screw ups. Enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget the Oh no. Uh I feel uh, like guys, I chose the wrong option again. Problem. Oh what no. A piece is missing. Mirror. It's missing a piece. Yep, indeed. What do you Uh mean? yeah, I made missing it myself piece. on Vroid. Yes, it's uh Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, okay. that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. I We're see, I see. Do this the hard way. I'm just saying. That's pretty waiting cool. Waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. 
He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a Interesting. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Yeah, sure. We have to... But I guess we should let Buffkin finish his... What he, what he wanted to say. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Interesting. Witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow blammers from. Hmm. Um, see anything didn't else? See anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Uh... Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Uh, that sounds a bit... If I say his, it's not his fault, and then, mm, I guess it's still an option. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do? Yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> All see right. if I can do anything about this. You do that. Okay, at least I wasn't too rude or anything. Okay, let's see. Oh. That was a weird way to walk. I guess. Oh. 207. Yeah. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I don't think I should tell I want you. To know. Um I need to know. Crane was uh paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Yep, pretty much. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Yeah, pretty much, I guess. Uh... Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Oh, really? Come on, let's keep looking. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not doing good on the options today. Man, what's going on? Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents and I have to admit I can see why. Oh. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think they should be made a priority. Mm-hmm. I see. Cool idea. Sure. What idea do you have? Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pino oh, Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess Pinocchio is drying out, that's why. But I assume it's something gross and I really like it if you fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Boy Blue. Hmm. I wonder who Boy Blue is. As in which fable? Uh, no, I don't have a Discord. Uh, are you talking about a server or an account? Uh, Mr. Crane, you said you pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the f walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is. 
and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised to send someone to fix the big crack at the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Oh, Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Okay, I see. That's definitely locked. Ooh. <laughs> oh. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The it's a king ring, of Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! Wait, I'm hungover, I did. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I Rita- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a Don't say anything clock. more, Buffkin. AM or PM? AM. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, you're wrong we about that, that Bluebeard. going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks Indeed. to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Uh, Since Lily whoops. used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to Good go idea. there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, No, so... chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, 
Now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse. Wow. A fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. Oof. I don't like you going okay. anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Yeah, that's true. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh no, it's gonna give me a time-sensitive option, right? Oh. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Okay, at least it's not time sensitive. Oh, but the ticking clock is making me nervous. Uh Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I do have an account, but um... Yeah, I'm not really open to sending out, giving out my account. Uh, you could message me if you want uh, on Twitch. Private message me if you're not comfortable with saying the cool idea out loud. But I might not be able to look at it uh, while I'm on stream. Hmm. He's oh no 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 no. So you leave Crane oh, okay. alone, <sighs> and we leave you alone. You and all your acquaintances. Wow, I thought I chose that by accident. Okay, I'm definitely not going to D's so office. Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Because I don't think you they would be there or hmm. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. You and all your acquaintances. I'm not sure it's. Uh, no, I'm better off should I? With things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. But if I go to his apartment. No. no I I'm might be able to alone. find. I don't need sympathy and I don't. Stuff need about the witch, right? Assuming I break the door down and stuff. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. Yeah, because I if... And I, don't need charity. I don't think... Lily would have gone to the witch on her no. own. No, I'm it's probably stuff that alone. Crane gave her to use. Yep, okay, let's go to Crane's, Crane's apartment. Place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too, but judging from the options that I've done so far, I'm not too optimistic about that. Penthouse, huh? Lucky guy. And I lived on the smallest... Eh? Wait. It's opened. Why is the door open? I shouldn't call out just in case there's anyone else in there. Rain? I called out anyway. Wow. That is creepy. Damn it. Must have missed him. Gotta be something about his witch here. <laughs> wine cabinet. That Seems is a lot of wine. In the open arms. Yep. I guess that's his favorite uh favorite wine. 
Yeah, he likes to drink. Oh, books. Math, science, history. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. <laughs> okay. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. I guess so. Uh, am I wasting time? Ooh. Oh. Portrait. Well, not gonna lie, that looks like a pretty nice portrait. Uh, what about- no, can't do anything there. I don't think I can look at anything here. Ah, okay. There's probably stuff- yeah. Teacher pouch. This hasn't been used in years. Thanks for all your help this year. I forgot, he used to teach in the old days. Oh, right. There's a message. Let's hear it then. Might give us a clue. Look, Who is that? Wow, okay, so Crane's been, um, was it, Trethon for some money, I guess? I wonder what he borrowed from the Crooked Man. I assume it's the Crooked Man anyway. Because that's the only unknown so far, and he's the boss of... Dom and D. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work, if I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> Ew. Okay, that's uh, yep. Yeah. Wow. Oh, crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. Oh, he's siphoning. Here. He's siphoning money from. From the accounts. Wait, that's confiscate. Oh, man, I don't. Mm. I'm not sure if I should use this money, as in like take the money. Might well, be useful. I guess I gotta be bad once in a while. <laughs> I'm called a bad, big bad wolf for some reason, but I've not been bad. Uh. Oh, my goodness, that scared me. Can't interact with that, okay. Is there anything on this side of the house? I guess not. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me, but that tickled me. Hey, huh. Really? Why does that look like a... Um, was it... Um... Secret, secret, uh, entrance way to something. Like there's a hidden passageway behind this or something. If you click like a button, but I can't interact with it, so I guess it's not. Okay, I ooh oh, so that's the I see. Oh, going somewhere? I should have grabbed him. Jack. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places, this weather, right? A little damp, I guess. 
But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? So that's you know why I mean? the door was opened. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this sh And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. What else do you want me to say? Might be just I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <clears throat> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? <laughs> are you just wandering well... around Crane's apartment? That's not something you need to know. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze Let me through. check your bags. I want to see what you have you in know, there. On second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Oh, really uh, now? I don't know why you're here, but... I'm listening. Go on. I'm listening. Look. I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How about we continue this talk in a jail cell? Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Mm. Come on, what do you say? I don't make deals with thieves, Jack. For all I know, you're making all this shit up just to get out of trouble. Give me a little credit here, man. Would I do that to you? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. How you about might. This? How about I tell you so you know I'm good for it? Then you can reconsider my offer. Okay? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. That sounds good, Green's actually. Green's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for. But if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. Where can I find True. her? True. Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? That I mean, is true. That's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be <laughs> sure to let you know. All right, sure. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll let him go. It was just lovely running into you. But then again, no, no, Hang no. Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I want to check that. Oh. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? I do, actually. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> the witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. All right. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You want to try that again? <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Okay. Pick me? Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? 
What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? That's not important right now. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? <laughs> Do you think Indeed. this is tied to the murders? I'm I mean, not sure. I guess it doesn't matter yet. I don't know. Maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And I return the money. We have no idea where she We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give but him I... the name, but we don't have time to wait yeah. around. True. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're oh, involved. Right. And that's we know the other that's thing. where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Uh it might be an empty empty? A wasted trip if I go down and they've burned it because I've I chose to come up to the apartment first. But I don't think D and Dumb would have... Oh man... I'm... I am stumped. Uh, not, uh, not stumped. I am... Um, so conflicted. Yep, I think that's the right word. Oh... Wow, I... Okay... Any, I think I'm gonna pretend not seeing him because... Oh, but then how am I supposed to explain that to Snow about what's he doing here? I'll think about that later. Uh, Trip Trap or D and Dumb? Uh, I don't know. I feel like Bluebeard is probably also going to beat up Ian Dumb if I don't get there. Then again, I guess they could just use some roughing up. And I'm pretty sure they would defend themselves from Bluebeard as well. So maybe they would maybe if I go here, I'm I'm going to be stopping like a fight or something. I guess Bluebeard deserves to be beaten up, <laughs> judging from the way he's acting. <laughs> I'm not even sure whether I should be saying that, but Bluebeard's a a um, a character. Character? Yeah, character. Not sure I like Bluebeard very much. I don't think he's a... I don't think he has a hand in it though. As in, I don't think he's one of the masterminds. I think it's all pointing towards the crooked man being the one pulling the strings here. Hmm... Oh man, I don't know... Should I check in with Holly though? It might be a bit un insensitive as well. But maybe Holly would know where Auntie Greenleaf is. Okay, let's I'll just go, go to there. The trip trap. See about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Alright, you Let do me that. Know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Yeah, we will. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> well, I didn't renege on our uh, deal, Jack. You were just caught by someone else. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. Should I open the door? Knock. Yeah, I should knock. Oh, that was way too loud. Um. Close. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, 
Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Okay, why is he being so... Friend, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Did he drink too much or something? Or is this going to be a trap where they're going to hit me? I want a me? drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Ah. Uh, okay. You got a point there, though. Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Ha <laughs> ha So that's why. That I see. Mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, mm. fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. Oh, no. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? <laughs> Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? True, true, true. Whatever. Maybe I All should right. not have said Too anything there. To get into it. <laughs> I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. Really now? First, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand all right, didn't fine. Come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off oh, my back. Oh no. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. Maybe I should not have let him drink the second glass. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh, and Holly had to find I out see. going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Hmm, I see. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. 
He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wow. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him go for now. I don't think... I don't think I would have any Grand. other questions that would... I don't know where Lily's yeah. shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. <laughs> I'll Sleep try. walkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems uh, I'm gonna pass <laughs> out. Okay. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? Maybe what you should. Fucking day. <laughs> Grant won't remember this. <laughs> nice touch there, Devs. I wonder if there's a couch in the pub outside. Maybe, uh. Maybe. Grant should be. Uh, slipping on that instead of the bar top, right? Mm. Uh, mm. Let me just examine everything here for, for a bit. Just because I'm curious, right? Oh! <laughs> and this is why you should touch everything first before... before doing the objective. Who is that? <sighs> Oh no. Is that you, Woody? Ah. Woody? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. <laughs> I guess it would be worse if she knew it was me. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. I'm betting on the fact that she won't remember it. Just like Gran. Oh, but then again, Gran drank alcohol, so... Maybe that's part of why he won't remember it. Hmm... I don't know. Are you gonna continue talking? I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. I'll make it up to you. Ah, uh, sure you will, kid. When the <laughs> rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. Remember to hydrate people. Speaking of which, I got to top up my cup. Hey, so she does have a glamour tube here. Uh, that's the brooch. I don't think... Okay. So there's nothing uh, interesting on that brooch. Let's check the book, finally. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. 
Oh. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If of course I do. Shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's just lying to her at this point. Uh oh. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. AG? Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Alright, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. Alright, I'll see you there. Okay, I think that went pretty well. Uh, yeah, as well as it could have been, I guess. There were no Big fights me. or stuff. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. Alright. How we might have missed him then. 14 minutes late. That's pretty bad. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. I don't think I should kick the door down though. Oh. Hello. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there... Um... um... Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. <laughs> I feel like... Is there I feel like... Um... you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I feel like she's glamoured to look like a little girl, as in I've Auntie been Greenleaf. Here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby, I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Crane. Wait. That your mom? Uh huh. So she is an actual girl. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Let me guess: big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Hmm. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy? What does Dowdy mean? I'm not familiar with that word. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. That is pretty cool. Um... Like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Hmm. 
I do still have the money. I w I. Mm, Where do you I'm, buy your clothes? I'm scared that At once store? snow goes oh. through the Where stuff, she will find the money missing, and then she would. <laughs> She'll have a bad impression of me because she would probably know that I took it. I saw Nobody a behind a here. Oh, it was a pretty one. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing. See. Closet door. Do you like? Where's the mom anyway? The butcher. The butcher. What's that? A package, having to do with someone called the butcher. It's empty. Damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. <laughs> he getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Oh, no, 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 please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This is a way you you got to believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise. It's going to be okay, Rachel. Please. I'm begging you. I don't want to I don't want to get in trouble. Ah. Uh. Anti green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. That good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while? Not right, really. I knew. Fighting. And from the beginning. Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just oh. you being here is bad enough. Oh wait, I thought that was There's like a spell or something. Here your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. I don't think we can protect her, though. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. <laughs> I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. Wow, what are you going to do? No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. 
Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two well... are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Snow, it's too much. We can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist uh. compared to what she's done. I should have chosen the, the other option. This is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. Uh, he says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. I see, so it that's won't. his. Okay. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. No. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Snow, do you really want to kill this tree for Fable Town? Or do you want me to burn it because you're pissed off at Crane for what he did to they you? They stole my hair from my apartment, Big B. So, yeah, I'm pissed, but I still know what's best for this town. Not really. I We're don't. burn the tree, Snow. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenlee. Don't think this is over. I won't. Ha <laughs> ha Well, two women fighting. I guess that's something to see. Two strong women fighting. But yeah, no, I don't think we should burn the tree down. It's her livelihood. Where is she gonna go after that? So yeah. And we're back to the pudding and pie. Man, this place is the key to everything, huh? That's Crane's car. So he's still here. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of our place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know, now! <laughs> hey, you can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Oh my god. Big B. Wait, don't. That is so... I, okay. I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I j just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? Oh, no. what? This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to the, you. <laughs> Damn you. Come on. Please. <laughs> Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. Okay. <laughs> Yep, pretty much confirmed that he's innocent. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I yeah, just, I believe you. I, it just... Oh, God. What happened to you? Were you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small, nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. Yep, I know. B. 
Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Why He's did... Not, he wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? What? You've seen the room... I don't no, 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 no. No, 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 There's no. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This that was not the option I want. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've I do. We've known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this. This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. Uh, yes. Okay. He probably does. <laughs> but there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Yeah, that's true. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? Uh, this you know, is bigger than Crane. Come back here. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fable Town for years, haven't you? This back and forth is yeah. so weird. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fable Town funds. You have the right to counsel. The right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the Damn wagon! I did the best I mm. could with what I had, and the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. I feel like he would run. At least I'm not bringing him out in cuffs. I guess I'm giving him that... Uh, that face. Oh no. Oh no. Shit. Are they going to kill Crane or something? It's another car, right? Yeah. Okay, more cars. Hi. What you got there? Oh, this is the girl that left the message on the phone, I believe. On Crane's phone. Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. Personal He's property? He's about high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. 
Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, tell me who she is now. Bloody Mary, that's oh. it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Okay, so she's the boss of... Fuck it. Ooh! Almost missed it. Wait, what? Okay, okay, okay. So what do you think? Um, what do you mean about what? The game? Uh oh. Wow, okay. Um... Didn't have time to choose. Okay, I guess yeah. I'm going with that, apparently. The game isn't giving much give it that the game isn't giving me much of a choice. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I don't want to kill him. Oh no, will that come back to bite me? Mm. Oh wait, is that a silver bullet? Oh god, pick me! That was a good show, but you know, I just didn't know when to end. Huh, the woodsman's axe. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf, but as it turns out, it's just a big Oh my goodness, come on! Right, Wolfie? Oh, I hate this cute. <laughs> hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> Can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just... Take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Just get out of here. The 
It's your Who lucky is day. dead? The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, is he? Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look yeah, at his face. Yeah, we know that. He'd stick a pig if his life depended. And yeah, I know that it's the crooked Kinda man, like but I wonder how he looks to like. To ruin a <laughs> well, Ow. Be, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Ooh, okay. Oh, in with the new. Long live the queen. Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Oh, I guess she means snow. As in snow will be in charge right now. Well, assuming Bluebeard didn't... Hmm... Oh man, this is such a... Such a... Oh, okay. I guess I completed episode 3. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Not sure about Wait, that. I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Not sure, honestly. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. Hmm. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? Yeah, I don't. Wow, okay, that was some episode. It's so... Messy? You know, I guess messy is not the right word. Um... There's so much information there that I don't know how to wrap my head around it, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, let's see. Did you interrupt? No, I didn't. Ah, most of the people didn't, which is nice to know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what place do you investigate first? Oh, 39%. I see. Huh. I wonder um, what people find in here, in, in Tweedo Dumb and D's office. 19%. Maybe I should try and find a let's play of this particular chapter. Or maybe I can just play it again myself <laughs> and make better choices. Did you make a deal with Jack? No. Oh, I'm in the minority, I guess. Did you burn... Oh, majority for this? That's nice to know. Uh, I see slightly more than half showed mercy. Interesting. Okay. Wow, that is... Yeah, that is such a... Uh interesting episode so we've got we've got two new uh characters which are bloody mary and the crooked man we haven't seen who the crooked man is as in how he looks like but it's definitely not going to be one of those uh we've seen him before but he's just masquerading as another character plot point right I hope not, because somehow, for some reason, he looked a bit like Bluebeard to me. 
I'm just hoping it's not going to be Bluebeard because then again, I don't think Bluebeard has the style the Crooked Man has. The Crooked Man more likely, you know, feels, or rather, he feels like the type that would get people to do his bidding. Like getting Bloody Mary to do, you know, all the stuff. While Bluebeard is, you know, up front in your face and just beats, beats you up to get anything that he wants. So I, it doesn't feel like uh, they're gonna shove Bluebeard as the hidden crooked man thingy. At least I don't think the devs would do that. If they do, it's a pretty weird um, choice, I would think. So he's definitely a character. Hmm, definitely behind all of this as well. Anyway, yeah, looks like I have done a pretty good job. Good job. I mean, I finished the um, episode cleanly today. Hopefully next week I would have enough time to go through both episode 4 and 5. Um, yeah. I was going to... Mm, yeah. I was thinking of actually uh, delaying stream time a bit to maybe 4 a.m. No, 5 a.m. JST. But I think I will keep it the same as 4... 30, 4 30 a.m. GST, just so that I have enough time to squeeze both episodes in a day. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep the stream time the same. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess that's that's it for today. Let the episode. Uh, credits run for a bit. Wow, yeah, this is such a... This is such a... Confusing chapter. And, oh yeah, that reminds me. It's so weird that uh, I chose... Like, the options don't really flow well together. Like, on the one hand, I'm saying that I don't think he's the murderer, and then in another option, it just... Bigby suddenly... suddenly behaves as if he thinks that Crane is the murderer. That's one thing that I've... Um, I guess... Well, I wouldn't say critical, but that's just a bit off to me. For this, um, yeah. Anyway... Uh... Oh, okay. Thank you for the follow, Aris. Um, I'll check on Twitter after after streaming. Uh, <laughs> Tef. Anyway, okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll end this today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for lurking. Um, tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow Sunday. I'll be playing uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2. So you can come on down and check it out if you're interested. Um, and yeah, I guess. Thank you so much. And uh, am I going back to the main menu? Yes. Okay. Well, have a k day.